the hurricane is really beginning to be felt here. As you can see, the palm trees are blowing, the rain is beginning to increase, and the sea is beginning to churn in the Gulf. It promises to be a long, long night in Biloxi. Even veteran reporter Jim Metcalf had no idea what lay ahead as Hurricane Camille took aim at the Mississippi Gulf Coast. During the nighttime hours of August 17th, 1969, people who lived along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and South Louisiana did the best that they could to get ready for one of the fiercest storms in modern history. So in 1969, there was a hurricane called Hurricane Camille. Um, it was in August of 1969, and Beth Henley has set her play, Crimes of the Heart, five years after that event. Now, in that event, there would have been um, buildings that have completely been torn down, um, deaths in several families, um, severe injuries, and life the, the hurricane would have been a life-changing event for the whole people in that area. And um, the play itself is set in the Hazelhurst area. And yet we hear very little about the hurricane itself. But what we do hear is about, um, let me remember, I will not remember all the things, but a horse that dies um, the day before. We hear it's um, Lenny's birthday. We hear that um, a white woman called Babe had sex with a 15 year old black boy who's sent out of town on a bus in the middle of the night. That's enough for one play. Um, but no, it goes on. There's um, Doc, he's got a bad leg from the hurricane that happened five years ago. Um, then Meg has sex with the Doc. Then, um, uh, not only that, but I think I'm going to try and remember everything. Um, what's her name? Lenny. Lenny has a, a damaged ovary and can't have children and she split up with this guy because she thought a damaged ovary would mean that he wouldn't be interested in a relationship. And so the drama goes on. And yet, in the background, oh, I guess their mother killed herself. Um, what else happened? Um, with the cat, not only did she kill herself, she killed the cat as well. Um, the sister, Babe, is trying to kill herself at the same time that the play is actually going on. It's just drama layered upon drama layered upon drama you can't escape there's no escape it's overwhelming and yet this is all in the aftermath of a hurricane that happened five years ago why well i think that maybe it's to add to the hilarity the absurdity and also it says something about the characters how far have they come along interesting they don't talk much about the hurricane is it because they don't care or is it because they have so much drama in their own lives they just can't i've got to say goodbye to my son i'm going now bye bye i've said goodbye to elijah now and just to put this into context i want you to remember the storm of 1987 in britain and you know what we're still talking about it the way that michael fish was on TV and said, oh, I just had a notification from a lady who says that this and that's going to happen tomorrow, but don't worry, you're all be safe. And then trees came tumbling down and people died and it was the worst storm ever in our history. Or I might be exaggerating there, I don't know. But anyway, the thing is, ah, it's quite rainy and stormy out here today. Um, but um, yes, I just wanted to make a wrap on the um, comments that I'd made. So, um, yeah, that's the end. <laughs>